I sit down across from my girlfriend zipping up my jacket all the way. Thanks for lending me the jacket, Sunset. I say thankfully. Of course, Twy. You like it? Um, um, I take a long sip of my coffee, turning my gaze to the window. The rain patters it, the clouds darkening with the coming of night. Winter is in the air. Of this there is no doubt. So, do you like the weather? Of course, I say, turning my attention back to my lover. It's really nice to just relax on a rainy day with you. I'm glad we can spend time together. So am I. The waitress drops off the check, Sunset immediately extending a hand towards it. I beat her to it, taking great care to keep it out of her reach while I put some cash in the tray. Twilight, you didn't have to do that. She protests. I dismiss her comment with a wave of my hand. You paid for our last date, Sunset. I think it's my turn now. Thank you, sweetie. She reaches across the table and squeezes my hand lovingly, to which I respond by placing my other hand over hers. Our eyes meet, she smiles. I smile back. We stay locked this way until the waitress voice gets my attention. All right, lovebirds. Have a good night. Blushing, I take the receipt and change. Thanks. After leaving the coffee shop, we walk along the streets, my hand in sunsets. We look at all the sights of the city as the drizzle sprinkles us with little drops of rain, the wind chilling our faces. When we reach Sunset's motorcycle, she motions for me to hop on the back. I oblige her, sitting down on the small Ducati's rear seat. She sits in front, facing me for a moment. Suddenly I become very nervous. I've never ridden a motorcycle before. Cadence dropped me off at the coffee place, knowing that I'd spend the night with Sunset. That was in a car. Now here I was, on the back of a motorcycle. Sunset. I begin uneasily. Ah, huh? there's something you should know. What's up, love? I've never ridden a motorcycle before. Sunset chuckles a little. I promise I won't do anything stupid, Twy. You're safe with me. She looks around a bit before closing the gap between us, giving me a peck on the nose. Then, she turns around and starts the motor, which revs to life hardly. Hold on! She folds the kickstand, and the bike rockets forwards. I wrap my arms around her waist, holding on for dear life as she drives down the city streets towards her apartment. I bury my face in her shoulder as she drives, fearing that I could fall off at any moment. The rain batters our faces and the wind whips through our hair as Sunset expertly weaves the bike in and out of traffic. We lean left to pass a sedan, right to pass a pickup truck, then left to zoom past a city bus. Luckily, it isn't long before turning off the main road that we reach Sunset's place. I dismount the bike just as she turns it off, shaking from sheer adrenaline. She parks it under an overhang, keeping it out of the weather. I simply stand there, shuddering. You good, Twy? Don't drive so fast, I respond shakily. That was only 60 kilometers an hour, Twilight. But hey, don't worry about it. Unlocking the door, she leads me inside to the little apartment I have grown very familiar with. She closes the door behind us and turns on the lights, dimming them to give the room a relaxing sort of feel. It's rather cold in the apartment, causing me to shiver even though I'm wearing my jacket. I decide to be helpful by making some popcorn while she picks a movie to watch, eventually joining her on the sofa. We snuggle up together under a blanket, the distant thunder rolling as we start the film. After the movie is over, I take a quick shower while she gets changed for bed. I change into the pajamas that I keep here at her apartment for when we spend the nights together. And the very first thing I notice is how cold it is. Once I blow dry my hair, I meet her by the bed, shivering. You good twilight. You're shaking like a leaf. I am just kick cold. Sunset smiles, taking my hand. I can fix that. We get in bed, Sunset pulling the flannel sheets over us both. I lay on my side facing her. She does the same towards me. Slowly she removes my glasses, setting them on the nightstand before turning out the light. Then she grabs my hands. Her hands feel so warm on mine, so soft. Though my vision is blurry without my glasses, I see her smile lovingly. I put extra blankets on the bed because I thought you'd be cold after that shower. Thanks, Sunset. Love you. Love you too, Twy. We stay this way for some time, remaining silent. No words are needed to express our love for each other. I'm about to give in to slumber when a flash of lightning lights up the room. Startling me and sending me into what feels like an oncoming anxiety attack. Twilight? Sunset asks as I start to shake uncontrollably. Twilight, it's okay. I'm right here. She reaches around me and pulls me into a tight embrace, affectionately stroking my hair. I'm sorry, Sunset. I whisper. I'm just a bit scared of thunder. Don't worry about it. She rests her chin on the crown of my head, sighing contentedly. Still cold? Um, um a little. She kisses me, continuing to hold me tight. Don't worry, love. I'll keep you warm tonight. Aren't you cold, too? She replies in an affectionate whisper. How can I be cold when I've got my love to keep me warm?